Good morning. It is February the 14th, Valentine's Day, 2021. Last month I was late on my period. And I took all these freaking pregnancy tests and was freaking out because my period didn't come on until day 50. Well, today, on Valentine's Day, I decided let me take a pregnancy test because my period came on was it's three days late now i'm like okay is this the same repeat from last month no it's not the same i'm so nervous scared <sighs> i've said before what happened to me my other two pregnancies, I had two preterm births because of incompetent cervix. Lost a child at 17 weeks, lost a child at 23 weeks. So those times I didn't know what was going on with me. This time I do, so I'm gonna make a plan. And I'm just making this video because I had to encourage myself because I wanna be happy. But it's almost like I can't all the way be happy because but what happened to me? But God got me this time. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to just say it. God got me this time. God got me this time. So I am about six weeks now. Um, I'm keeping it light on my feet and everything. But y'all, this is a tough thing because it's like I can't be social I can't go walk around I can't go around the city because I have an incompetent cervix so I had to be easy along with that I have a husband I haven't cooked for him all week um, I'm currently in my bed I feel pretty um I don't know this is hard it sucks not being able to be the person that you are on a regular basis without being pregnant because I do a lot of moving around. I love cooking. I love doing this. I love doing that. And I don't know when y'all gonna see this video, but just know this is not easy for me. Um, so I just looked back at the videos that I've been making along my journey and one of my videos deleted with me explaining exactly what incompetent cervix means or give you an example of what it is. So I'm going to use this water bottle to try to give you an example. So let's say this is right here, the female's vagina. The cap is the cervix. That is what holds the baby inside of the vagina. Now, with incompetent cervix, once you reach 20 or so weeks, the baby starts to gain weight. And it put weights on weight on this cap, which is your cervix. And as the weight pushed down on the cervix, your cervix start to open too soon. Okay, so that's what incompetent cervix mean. It could put you in a preterm labor which will give you a very premature child and sometimes the baby don't make it. So a supply stitches this close so that you can make it to full term or close to full term. Um, the only other thing that you will need with an incompetent cervix is probably a supplement called progesterone. They give, they give you progesterone shots, which is a hormone or progesterone suppositories, which is like a little... I want to say a capsule like a little cream that you insert into your vagina so what that does is it um it either is going to stop you from going into preterm labor or make your cervix stay strong enough to hold the baby so next time i go to the doctor that's what i'm fighting for i want to start progesterone so it won't be too late like i don't want to go to the doctor and they be like oh girl you got half an inch left on your service girl you have to start progesterone i want to go ahead and start it now um my doctor told me that i don't need it but sometimes you got to advocate for yourself y'all advocate for yourself research your own condition don't put a hundred percent of your trust in the doctors because doctors only giving you what they know right you know what you know about yourself right so 
a lot of times I'm thinking of, of it like this. I asked my doctor, have you ever had an incompetent service? Have you ever went through this experience? If they haven't, that means they can't relate. You can't really 100% relate unless you have been through the exact same thing as me. So I listen to doctors, but I also make my own judgment about my own body and I'm my own advocate. So yeah. I am currently 14 weeks. I'm almost four months. Um, I get my cerclage on Friday, this Friday. We're going to eat too. So, y'all, this has been the best pregnancy. And I really feel like it has something to do with me being vegan. I think the things you consume is more important than we actually think. Um, with me already having PCOS, which is a hormonal disorder or condition, um, I really think the things that I'm eating is helping me. So, um, yeah, I get my cerclage on Friday. Also, I have discovered, yes, I have an incompetent cervix, but more specifically, I have a short cervix, meaning I'm 14 weeks, a woman that is 14 weeks, their um, cervix usually measure four to five centimeters, mine is three. So I bought some meal prep so I won't have to cook. I took off for a whole week. But y'all, back to the pregnancy. I'm making it. I'm doing great. I'm quitting my job so that I can focus on my pregnancy. Um, yeah, I'm quitting my job this year. This is going to be my last year. I really want to just focus on my pregnancy. And that's where we are today. That's where I am. Um, y'all pray for me. Like I said, y'all probably ain't going to see this video until August, September. But whenever you get this video please pray for me um i see y'all checking in and checking out so today is the day So I made it out of surgery. I feel great, actually. I'm in no pain. Um, I was in pain immediately after I got a procedure, but now I feel fine. Um, I just want to give y'all an update. I'm in a bed. I'm supposed to be asleep. My husband ain't gonna sleep, but I feel great. They gave me some medicine to prevent infection and pain, but I don't know if I want to take it. But I have to take it. But I just was giving y'all an update. I'll talk to y'all soon. Yeah. Today's date is June the 11th. And we got what the gender is. My husband want to know. I kind of don't want to know. Because my family want to do a surprise. But he want to know. So I think, what we gonna do, Lex? Let's do it, man. He wanna know. I don't think we should do this, but. Ain't nobody gonna know we did it until after everything is all said and done. And y'all, I was really, really scared about this appointment. This was like one of my, let me, all right, go on, open it. This was one of my scary appointments. I didn't know what my service was gonna be. This is like the, wait, open it slow. I did. I can't even talk to the people. This is, wait, I can't. I told you. I knew it. Oh, Lord, okay, it's a girl. You knew it. I knew I knew it, but I ain't know it. I knew it after you said it. Well, all right, bye. So today is June 21st, 2021. I'm enjoying my back porch. I got me some water and fruit. Now, with being pregnant, first of all, I'm 21 days, 21 weeks and six days. So tomorrow I'll be 22 weeks. My last loss, well, when I lost my daughter, which this is also a daughter, I lost her at 22 weeks. 
three days. So that's kind of why I haven't did a full blog. Like I haven't showed my stomach. First of all, cause I'm fat. I'm just gonna, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know. I don't really see it. Maybe if I would have done, you know, my 10 weeks, 20 weeks, something like that, maybe I would see a difference, but baby, you look like a fat stomach to me. <laughs> but, um, I do better next time. This time I'm just really trying to make it day to day. But I came on here to talk to y'all because I didn't I wasn't able to talk to y'all last time because my husband was just so adamant about finding out the gender. So um my last appointment was 20 weeks. I have an appointment tomorrow and on Thursday to measure my cervix again because that is my problem. I have an incompetent cervix. As you know, I got the stitch and it has really been helping me out. At 20 weeks, my cervix was four centimeters. Last pregnancy at 20 weeks, I had absolutely no cervix and the baby was coming out. So that is awesome news. Um, every visit, is nerve wracking like I haven't been able to like really <sighs> doing this pregnancy because I haven't won yet you know what I mean like I haven't had my baby yet in a successful full term not NICU manner so yeah I just wanted to check in I do want to talk about being vegan too while you're pregnant it's hard because the, I'm not like a vegan I'm not a person who's been vegan for years like I'm just coming up on the year July the 14th so being vegan while pregnant being a new vegan while pregnant it's definitely hard because you have cravings like I've been wanting chicken like out of this world yeah I don't know the name of this fruit by the way But what I try to do, make sure I eat water and fruit. I mean, drink water, a gallon of water a day. Eat fruit every day, every morning. Um, I haven't got back on my herbs yet because I'm scared. Scared of nature, right? Scared. Um, I've been slacking on my lettuce and tomatoes because this baby, like, girl, what is this? We need some real food. That it really been uh, wanting southern food. So, um, yeah, being vegan while pregnant hard. Um, this journey is stressful, but you know what? I've been praying. I've been manifesting over my life. Just saying you know i will meet this baby in october my cervix is good my my wound is healthy to hold this baby. i've been saying all those things to myself and then it's been working so far it's just y'all some days are really hard like i've been through trauma with pregnancy like true trauma stuff to actually change your life and it has changed my life so yeah I just want to come check in. I don't want to talk too long because I don't want a video to be too long. But I'm just checking in. I hit y'all up. or let y'all know how my 22-week uh, journey pregnancy update went. If you're having a competent service, stay strong, man. You got this. You got this. Okay? I'm going to let them doctors tell you. Because when I went to my last appointment, she was like, yeah, you look good for today. But things could change in two weeks. I'm like, wow, thanks. Thanks for still stressing me out. Like, let me have my good news for a second, please. But anyways, yeah, i check up. Maybe next week I'll show y'all my pregnant stomach. It just look fat to me, but yeah, I'm out. <laughs>